Hey guys, it's Patty. Um, I just want to share some flowers that I've been making um, over the weekend. Um, it's hot on the weekend. Ron is home. He's home from Friday night to like Monday morning. So I sort of spend the whole weekend with him. So, um, But it was raining down here all weekend like cats and dogs. So I had some time to myself and um, I decided to make some flowers. Um, first of which um, are the puffy flowers that, um, oh gosh, um, I can't think of her name, oh gosh, isn't that awful, um, but everybody knows her beautiful flowers, um, I will post the name and her uh, YouTube channel under the video here when I'm done, but these are all made out of the fabric flowers, and um, you know they're cut and, and they're folded and whatnot, um, and they're just so gorgeous to me. So this one, these are all lavish laces, fabric flowers, mind you. Um, this has some little pink hearts, and then the under layer had a um, like a minty green color. And this here is an earring I got from this dollar store that's um, just recently opened um, in the mall. It's not a dollar store. It's just everything in the store is a dollar, and it's basically just all jewelry. So the next time I go, I will definitely show a haul because, I mean, look at how beautiful that is. I mean, it's just so pretty, and I got two of them for a dollar, <laughs> you know, the whole set. So, so that's one. And then um, this is the second one. This is uh, really pretty. This is... Uh, just some hearts, pink and red hearts, and then the under layer um, is white, um, but they're just so shabby chic, they're just so gorgeous, I like love them. This is a center from like Walmart or something. Um, I just want to do the recent ones I did over the weekend. Um, this one here is like a uh, hot pink polka dot. Um, I'm not sure where I got this piece from, um, but it's pretty. And then the white underneath. So that's three. Um, this one is really pretty too. This center again is two from that dollar store that was, I don't know if it was a pin or a necklace actually. Um, and this one is the white with the gorgeous yellow. And just look at them. They are so soft too. They are so soft. You have to watch her tutorial because honestly it's so simple but yet She's made these so famous because um, she just did such a great job. Um, and this is a gorgeous blue. This is another, I think, like a Walmart button or something with a white bottom. That's that. And uh, I did a couple more a while back, and I made the mistake, and you do have to listen um, when she says, um, this actually I made this weekend too. Um, it's like a peach and a cream color, really pretty. Outside my color scheme, but I try to do that every so often. Um, I mean, it really isn't. This actually makes it a little bit outside of it, but um, just to challenge myself. Now, these I made a while back, I think when I first saw the video. And if you don't put the, the amount of glue that she says, um, and it's ever so little, um, they become hard and that's what I did. I made a mistake. Too much glue and this is a harder flower. Like this one is literally I could smash and this one is pretty hard all the way around. Although it's still pretty. This is a ring. Um, I'm not sure where I got that ring. I think it's Forever 21. Yes, Forever 21. And that's pretty too. This is the pink polka dot and the black and white polka dot. Um, again, this, I just had some pieces left, so I just threw some colors together. This is, again, an earring from that dollar store that I mentioned. Cute. Um, this here, oops. Um, again, it was just scraps. And then what I did in the middle here, I just took a smaller flower, um, fabric flower, and just put in the middle, and then the piece on top there. That's that. And then I made a larger one here. Um, and these were because, this is that larger because these are the bigger fabric flowers, the ones on the bottom. So it just made the diameter a little bit bigger. And then I love this color here. It's so beautiful. Okay. 
So that's those. And then I made some muslin flowers, which is my heart. I love muslin. I love anything shattered and tattered and it looks like it's been through the mill. Now this is the first one I made and this here is um, trim off of a, um, sorry, uh, found in the fabric store. It was an old sheet and this was the lace or gathered trim that looked like, like a lacy layer or a gathered um, lace, a gathered uh, fabric layer on the top of the sheet. So I just took it wrapped it around nothing you know and then just took a, a piece of um, a doily cut it up shabbied it up and then put a center I think I got this in Michaels oh, isn't that cute so pretty it's really big this one is really big it's like five by it's five inches in diameter at least that's that one um, and then these here um, I think um, I, I've seen several videos but I watched um, Little Shabby Chic, Trisha, um, and I, I um, followed her, um, I think it was a tutorial she had on this loop flower here, and then I just kind of made them my own, and this one I just, um, I made them all different sizes, I just took a piece of um, a very large doily and put it on the back there, um, and then this was, um, it's just a long strip, so you just twirl it around after you, you know, glue it and um, cut the slits you just glue it around a um, little piece of lace and again this is from the fabric store uh, from that dollar store I was mentioning part of the earring really pretty though right sorry about the shadow okay this one here um, again did the same thing with the loop the flower twirled it around put a white doily around there some lace in the center a little uh, crocheted uh, flower there and just a center pearl really pretty though so beautiful uh, I'll just do this here's another one um, I kept this fairly simple too um, and this one I definitely pulled more of the fibers out to give it more um, of a shabby look um, it's really easy to do with the muslin though because it just kind of does it on its own. And then I put some cheesecloth and um, a piece of uh, a Prima trim here, a little flower trim under there. And then again, one of these gorgeous flowers from that store. I have to go back because I'm pretty much using all, everything I've bought. And then a doily on the back. Really pretty. Um, and then this is another one I made kept this really simple so pretty though right really pretty and I just took a fabric flower put that in the center there these are these gorgeous little um, fab um, paper um, forget-me-not flowers that I have a ton of and I love them to death and I definitely don't use them enough so I'm going to now um, and then this is an applique that I just crossed to put across the back there so pretty huh really pretty um, and then I just rolled some flowers, which I love to do. It, to me, it's like so relaxing. And um, I added a little piece of a old fabric, a uh, very tattered lace piece I had. And this is another ring from that dollar store. Amazing. And then just a, you know, um, piece of um, paper on the back there. Um, file folder actually. Here's another um, folded one and I had a piece of um, another trim here that I just put around the edge. Just nothing, you know, I to me when it's perfect I don't like it. I like it very um, tattered. <laughs> and then there's a fabric flower in the middle and this center here I got in Michaels too which I really love. It's so pretty. To me, it looks very vintage. That's another one. This one I did in a, um, in like a tool material. It was from like an old um, curtain that I found. And I really love the way this came out. Um, and then this was a ring. I might add something around the edge, but right now I'm really liking it like this, so I don't know. Depends on what I use it on. 
Okay. Another rolled one here. Uh, this is one of Gisela's trims, uh, lavish laces. Um, another roll of flowers. Some of them are tighter, some of them are looser. Um, and then a fabric flower and this little bling, which I'm not really sure where I got it from. Oh, actually, this was a hairpin, actually, from that dollar store. Yes, that's what that was. So pretty. And I decided to make a really large one, which is probably about four inches in diameter. And um, I made the pieces here, you can see, a little bit wider. I added a piece of lace. I cut the flower out here on a like lace tablecloth, and I just tucked it behind there. Um, then another little piece of a doily here, and this is just an old uh, ring or something like that, which I love how it's kind of coppery around the edges, where it turned. Really pretty. Okay, and this here um, is, um, it turned out much bigger. I didn't know it was going to be this big, actually. Um, and this, I think, Trisha also had a, um, a tutorial on these, and they're just two layers of four by four squares. Um, I did a um, like a little piece. This is like a seam binding um, material. It's like a lining or something, and then a piece of tulle, and then I just um, folded them on the skew, folded them again, got a triangle, and then just layered them up. Really pretty, and then just some pieces of tool underneath this, and this was a big old ring um, that I found a clearance in Forever 21. So really beautiful flower, nice on a big fabric book or something, or really pretty. And then I made just a couple of others. Um, this is just a rolled um, rose that I added some trim, and then a little bit of trim on the inside. But I really like it. I really like the way this one came out. I usually like them like not as rigid, but this one is really soft and pretty. I like the way they came out. Um, this one is another one I gave it a go at, and I just did it by itself. Um, and there's just a little trim around the edge. You know, I, I sort of don't finish them because it depends on the you know what you're going to be using them on. So I like to kind of leave a little room for. Um, you know, this one here, I just gathered some material and just kind of glued it all together. Really cute. This is a fabric, a felt flower that I made. A felt, excuse me, um, velvet. Um, and I really love the way this one came out. Um, really pretty. And then I popped that on some felt. That's why I said felt. And then just hung some seam binding on it. And this is um, same principle there with satin, a pretty blue satin, and some piece seam binding on there. Again, really, really pretty. Okay, so um, let me just move this on over here. I could just show you all the flowers again. Oh boy, it's not happening. Oh, let's see if I could turn this. There we go. Okay, so that was my um, weekend fun, and I hope you like all these beautiful flowers that I made. They're just so yummy and delicious. Um, so, anyway, that's it, and um, I have lots more projects I'm going to be doing, and it's good to talk to you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.